I want to say I got out of the tent at like 8.30, almost 11.30 in the morning. Three hours? But yes, I brushed my hair this morning. Oh my gosh. Just the whole fucking repacking. <laughs> putting in the poles right so they fit in the seat pack, getting all your food and resealing, the rolling it tight is a physical process, the shoving it and trying to get it tight inside the bag, cinching the bag, then shoving the bag and getting it right inside one of the bike packs. Everything is about packing it correctly. You can't just throw it in there, it won't fit. I did spend some time rinsing off my bike, the gears and stuff, so let's say that was like an extra 20 minutes. I know people like to do the bivvies. I'm not interested in swinging in a hammock between two trees, especially if I get stuck in a four day rainstorm. I have to have a tent. So there's the panniers, but that's more for bike touring on pavement. The guy who I met in Missoula who just had a basket on the front, freaking huge bag, just throw your shit in. I will never do these individual packy tight specific bags again. They're great bags. If I was going to go for seven days, oh, it's perfect. I'm using them for long-term distances. And so, you know, I have to pack a fair amount of food or warm clothes, hot clothes. Like I said yesterday, I was gonna also start sharing the frustration. Not just the, oh, we isn't this fun? These horse flies. The bees are landing. Okay, bees are landing on me. Okay, so let's go. I'm gonna show you. We're entering our first single track bike packing. It looks absolutely breathtaking. <laughs> I'll show you where we slept last night. It's right here. And can you see how this is, has a thick black dashes inside the red? It disappears, it gets really faint, and then it picks up again. So this is single track. I've got such a late start, geez. But I have no schedule, so who cares? We're going through the narrows. It's actually walking. They're just birds and flowers I wanted to see. It's just such an intimate, pretty section. My first pile of fresh bear scat. But now after seeing that, maybe I should be on my bicycle or maybe I need to start singing and then we can scare away all the humans too, if there are any. Okay. Oh yeah, beautiful mountains and super strong blue turquoise rocks on the ground mixed with mauve, just beautiful. So yeah, I think I'm gonna get on my bike here my bear calls. Look out, Mr. Bear! Here I come, Mr. Bear! There's a little slang in there. Do you hear water? Something big and furry might be having a drink. Some sections are just too pretty to bike. So if you're going south on the trail, you're gonna get to go, wee All the way down. This is where the pedal hits my calf. I'm just gonna put my sack over the pedal, but every time I think of it, I'm like, I'm almost to the top like here, but I'm probably not. We came from way back in there. You can see that yellowish side of that mountain? Single track starts right there. We've just been zigging and zagging in and out of the side of these mountains. 90% flies, 10% horse flies. I haven't seen a deer or a moose, or I just haven't seen any animal, but I've just seen some squirrels. Let's go. So there's where I spit out going north. This is such a famous trail, the Great Divide mountain bike route. And yet the sign is just calling this single track Swan Divide Trail number 382. I have not seen Great Divide mountain bike trail sign yet. A really famous route and it's the longest in the world for international travelers. It'd be nice. We have these digital devices with us. What if you actually lose it? And I guess you have a paper map too. Time to take a little breaky. Justin's chocolate hazelnut and almond butter are naturally delicious. I carry all this kind of stuff and then I always forget to take it. Look what's in the distance. The oh so gorgeous, as I've been told, Holland Lake. Came down this, saw this brown sign up here, which usually means there's an intersection and I knew I needed to turn right somewhere, but I just kept going. And then I always periodically will stop and look at my map just to see and it said I passed it. So I just came back and I'm like, hmm, where the hell is it? 
I'm standing right at the split off based on my ride with GPS map. This is it. Who would have ever seen this? Once again, I'm not sure why they don't put a sign here. Just at the start of the single track, heading north, I've gone 15.2 miles. That's where you're gonna run into this split off. Well, this is pretty. This is the cutoff of that little trail turned into this. I love these kinds of trails. Ooh. I see a bear. I see a bear. I see a bear. I see a bear. Oh, wee, wee, wee. Where is he? Where is he? He's in the road. I'm gonna go see him. This is the famous Holland Lake. Just so you know, it's not actually a real clean looking lake. Like it looks beautiful like that. Oh my gosh, how beautiful. And then you look closer and it's all like murky and it's that suction sand when you go in, it sucks your feet down. There's sticks and all kinds of stuff floating in it. Dead fish, yeah. Looks pretty though. I'm disappointed. I just pictured it more touristy. You come to a lake, there's like a little restaurant and maybe a little stand selling stuff, but it's just a lot of campsites along a beautiful lake. And then I guess there's just this fancy lodge, the Holland Lake Lodge, which if they could sell me something cold, that would be really nice. Restaurant and bar gifts are open to the public. Okay, so that's good. Oh, this is sweet. I don't know what it costs to stay here. This is the lodge. This is where you can eat, I guess. Oh, there's a little bar. Okay. 250 a night for double occupancy, so it's a pricey place. I just had a $10 deli sandwich. I knew it would be expensive. I just didn't think she said for bikers coming through, and I'm like, $10? It's just basic one piece of ham, one piece of lettuce, a piece of cheese. And she charged me $4 for my ginger beer, which doesn't have alcohol in it. $4 for a can. I think she's the owner. I'm like, you, you've made enough profit off of the two items that I just ate. So I didn't leave a tip. It's gorgeous out. I don't know if I want to camp here. I feel like I just want to get on my bike and pedal for another hour. I just, I don't know. Probably end up in an ugly spot. I'm really relaxed right now though. I just pulled Mythical Beast into the water to rinse him off a bit. Get some of the sand off, even the outside of the bags. So I'm leaving the campground. Because I started my period, even though there's bathrooms here with toilet paper, I still need tampons. I'm supposed to go to the main road anyway to connect to the Tour Divide. And plus, I'm all wet. I just went in the lake and rinsed off. All my clothes are wet so the air will dry them off. My instinct is to just keep going. It's a really beautiful hour right now, too. It is what it is. I don't know. <laughs> right now, it's going to be one minute at a time. Here's where I dumped out on. 83. It looks like if I don't take the turn off for the Tour Divide, which is like a few blocks down on the left, there'll be another option. I need to run into a gas station. I have no Wi-Fi. I've been sitting here hoping for someone to exit so I could ask them how far down the gas station is. And, you know, maybe I'll just have to skip the section of Tour Divide because I got my menstrual cycle and like uh, there's just no managing it on a bicycle without tampon. I'm getting a little worried. Okay, I made it to Candor. Just maybe on the left, maybe there's hope. Showers, laundromat. All right, let's check it out. They should have tampons if they have camping stuff. <laughs> they just go together. <laughs> it's a nice to eat guy. Sometimes. They're gonna have them. I'm not gonna take you this whole store. They even have dog stuff. Yep, they do. Awesome, oh, I'm so happy. I got some homemade brownies. And they let me eat up my hot pie. I figure I might as well eat hot food while I can. This beautiful young lady is teaching me how to make a pot pie properly. <laughs> I just like pull it out of the box and ready to pull it in. She's like, um, there's actually a system. <laughs> because that'll get really hot. And that way you can just carry it. She's hooking me up. I have no idea where I'm sleeping tonight or where I'm going. All I know is it's like almost seven o'clock and I'm sitting here in a chair with a hot chicken pot pie and tampons and fresh chocolate brownies. And I don't think anything else matters right now.
that place sold worms. You could do your laundry, you could take a shower. These little towns that pack everything into one store is fantastic. These blueberry muffins are not high end, but I see them in a lot of these places and they are delicious. They're so fluffy. Oh, look at all that grass over there. I wonder if I could camp there because I don't know how far off the turnoff is to connect to the Tour Divide. And then I don't know how much up the dirt road I need to go to, to snag the Tour Divide. It could just be a couple of miles. So I had the thought about sleeping over there and then I went in and come back out and there's a guy sitting here with his bike all done up and he's cycling. He's on pavement and he looked, he was totally chill. We start talking and I'm like, I wonder where he's sleeping because he seems so relaxed. So like, where are you sleeping? He's like, I'm sleeping in the front yard here. I'm like, really? There's Wi-Fi at the library, two buildings down, outlets, and there's a bathroom. So I'm like, okay, I'm all hooked up. <laughs> I'm laughing because the word camping is here. I was so focused on camping supplies because it has supplies. So I wasn't thinking of actual camping, duh. This Aaron, I just met him. He's the one who told me that since these cabins aren't rented, that we can sleep next to them. Otherwise, most people sleep there. Barry who lives there. He's been here for six years and that is his little milk truck that he drove. So there's, sometimes they'll have 70 tents in the front here. This year it's just really slow, obviously, because of COVID. So that's the community hall and this is a little library. Where's the Wi-Fi? Go fish, Clue. Old maid, wow, these games. Oh, there it is. It's so sweet that they do this for you. And then I can like sit on the step and there's even an outlet right here. Look how cool. My menstrual cycle brought me to this town and I'm having this great little experience. I love when things just work out. They always just seem to work out or maybe it's just because I'm such an optimistic person. Every outcome <laughs> ends up being good. I'm feeling all relaxed from my sugar. 